Hello, my name is Jeff Williams, and uh, today I'm working on this uh, Legacy Aviation Muscle Bike. Uh, we're going to be installing this motor and um, a uh, Castle Creations Talon 90 and uh, going in on the Muscle Bike. This project's moving uh, right along beautifully. It's uh, went together very quick, very smooth, and um, if you're going to do one of these projects or if you're just watching it for maybe another airplane that has a similar install, um, the first thing I'm going to have to do uh, on this is I'm going to have to get rid of these. So I'm going to go back here to my soldering station and uh, Castle gives you these um, other bullets that will fit up into the back of their uh, speed controller. So uh, these here are not compatible. They're a little too small. So we're going to go back and we're going to solder those on. That won't take long. And uh, I want to do that prior to putting on the mounting plate and the prop adapter and stuff onto this motor because it just makes it a lot easier uh, to work with in my opinion. But you could do it that way. It wouldn't matter. So I'm going to take a quick break and uh, come right back uh, with these soldered on and then we'll continue through the process. All right, I'm back. I've taken about uh, 15 minutes and uh, I soldered these new connectors on and now you can see that they fit real nice into the end of the uh, Talon uh, 90 Castle Creation speed controller. So now I'm going to proceed with putting on the um, mounting bracket and uh, then the, uh, <coughs> excuse me, the, the um, prop adapter, okay. So the way this kind of works is uh, pretty simple. Uh, you can't put it on the wrong one because these holes don't line up. So this goes on the back uh, with this shaft coming through and this uh, bolt-on nut. There's two prop adapters. One is a um, squash. So that presses on there and then squeezes that on to this shaft. We're not using that one. We're using the bolt-on adapter and it comes with these four um, three millimeter by about 12, maybe 16 millimeter. I uh, didn't measure them, uh, but I can measure them. How about that? I got my ruler right here. So let me see what we got. 14s, it looks like. Uh, three millimeter by 14. So those will go in there. Uh, just a dab of blue thread lock um, and then put them down through here on the shaft and bolt them in. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, they do require an Allen head to uh, tighten them up. These are going into aluminum, so we don't want to tighten them, just finger tight them, and then about another quarter, um, no more than I would think a half a turn would be plenty. And on this back here, uh, excuse me, on this uh, side right here with the uh, X mount, uh, we're gonna put those in. This has got some little bitty short bugle head or cone, um, what they might call countersink looking head. I can bring these in here and show you. Uh, Phillips. Uh, so let me get this in here and show you what these look like. <clears throat> there you go. That's what those look like. And as you can see, get them up here. They're, uh, they're very short. They're probably about... Uh, maybe four to six millimeter. I didn't measure them. Um, there's four of them. They go in there again. Blue thread lock, uh, without a doubt, on all these uh, bolts. And just put them in there. And like I say, uh, now on these back here, a uh, good Phillips, number two Phillips screwdriver is essential. Uh, you want to get this nice and tight. But on these prop bolts, finger tight, and then about a quarter to half turn, no more, or you're, you'll over tighten them and strip the threads. So we'll take this, uh, this segment here, a uh, break to do that, and we'll come back, and then we'll be ready to mount this, uh, this motor right up here to the, uh, to the uh, firewall on the muscle bike. Hello, Jeff Williams back with the mounting of the motor onto the muscle bike. Uh, we already talked a little bit about how to Get this prop shaft on and this X mount. I'll bring the camera in here so you can take a look and see what my end result was. Not too complicated, very, very simple stuff. Uh, in the back here where the shaft sticks through, you got the uh, four Phillips head, uh, very short uh, uh, bolts there. 
and uh, of course uh, blue thread lock and then on the other end we used uh, this particular prop shaft uh, which will eventually have this uh, washer and uh, prop nut on it. Uh, there they are. So those will all go together and we'll probably be starting with either probably a 16.7 or a 16.6 prop. Um, right now we're going to talk about how to mount this onto the front of the airplane here. It's uh, really, really simple the way ex uh, Legacy Aviation Extreme Flight Family of Brands has made this. Um, it's simply just going to go on the front here. You'll position the engine, uh, the motor wires the, the way you prefer. Now, uh, there is a packet um, that has these little X mounts in them. Uh, your engine, your particular motor may or may not need these. Um, we're not using them today. Um, and then it has some mounting bolts in it. Uh, we'll take a look here and see what we got. Uh, they're uh, one of them is looks like they're uh, 12, 11 to 12 millimeters long, and the other one's about uh, 18 millimeters long. I'm going to use the shorter ones, uh, these 12s. I'm going to put a washer on, just a dab of blue thread lock, and see if I can get a bolt going here. And that is all we're going to do to mount this motor the blind nuts are already installed up here so we shouldn't need to do really any more uh, than the thread lock I'm just lining it up and I don't tighten it all the way up it's just you see the motor still moves and what I'll do is I'll get another one on that'll do the line up but I won't tighten them all down until I get all four of them down uh, or all four of the uh, uh, bolts into the holes there. Once again you see I'm using these uh, extended uh, ball drivers. Uh, they're made by Bondus. I got them from Micro Fasteners and they were very very handy if you're seeing these tools for the first time and wondering well that's a handy little thing he's got there. Well that's all it is. So the people at Micro Fasteners we see them at shows a lot there super good people and uh, if you see them around and want to support them I'm sure they'd be appreciative to sell you a extended length ball driver very very handy thing all right one more and we're gonna have it in there and it'll be time to pull, uh, tighten it on up so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take a quick break finish this out and then we'll come back and we'll see how that cowling fits up on it portion so uh, what I did was we talked about the screws in there. I got them in, uh, tightened them about another maybe three quarters of a turn, blue thread lock, motor's in there real good. Took the, top, uh, the uh, power wires out of it, brought them up underneath a uh, lightning hole here, and uh, they'll be out of the way uh, real nice. And so now, uh, how do we mount this cowling? And this is usually where people cringe uh, and understandably so, there was alignment issues, you had to hit the hole just right, or you had two holes in your cowling. Well, don't fret it. This is as easy as it could be. Uh, this is a two-piece cowl, and uh, obviously this is the bottom portion, and it has two um, uh, portions that, that jout out here and have a hole in them, and they're going to go in these two holes right here. <coughs> Excuse me. I. Uh, there's a couple little pieces here where this cow ring will fit up underneath it and then these are uh, alignment uh, portions that also stick out there that protrude out there. So you just put those on the inside of this bottom and kind of wiggle it up in there and you have just mounted a cow. So um, we'll have these uh, three millimeter uh, bolts and looks like they're again uh, 12 millimeters, 12 millimeter long. Uh, these are supplied. Washer, thread lock on it, and uh, I'm going to use my trusty extended uh, ball link, and you just put them in there. Okay. Now, um, once you get those screw, those bolts uh, tightened up, this is the top part of the cow. Now, the top part of this cow. 
I'm going to bring this in here so you can see it. You see it's got these little catches here. Okay. And let's see if I can bring this up here. You'll see. Um, bring the camera out just a tad here. You'll see that's the receptor hole for that right there and there's one on each side there there's one right here and then the other one here so what you want to do is take these little uh, catches and bring the camera out just a tad more here and we're gonna put those in first okay now I'm being a little gentle here because I, I didn't bolt this on just that I'm doing uh, some demonstration purposes here because those bolts would be in there so once you get those in then you just push it back and there's some alignment holes back here and you hit those alignment holes and then just boom that's it it's that simple your cowling is ready just two bolt holes on the inside uh, this guy right here he just has these um, two catches up front alignment pins and then there's uh, magnets back there that it comes in contact with and that's what keeps it all on so to take it off all you do is just pull it straight forward and this one is new and a little tight and I don't want to pull too hard but there it is and it just comes right off okay and that's good I like it tight right now I haven't done any sanding on it because I'm sure once with vibration and taking it on and off because this is how you get your battery in here uh, that's going to loosen up uh, and it'll be much easier to to go but I'm going to delay that off a little bit uh, again here's these magnets on there and then the magnets on here they catch and uh, it's a nice uh, real nice system uh, very very easy no drilling uh, just super super simple quick beautifully painted cow as you can see this is not stickers this is this is real paint uh, they did a fantastic it's a fiberglass cow it's not ABS plastic or anything it's really really nice so basically that covers our motor and our cowling and uh, you can take your speed controller here and um, the tray right back here is the mount uh, for the battery so your speed controller can literally go on the side of your motor box or um, it really could go back in in your if you want to make a tray back in here for it uh, you could do that but really uh, underneath the motor box or on the side of the motor box it, it would work great it'll get plenty of air there keep it nice and cool and the wires will be plenty of long enough now you will probably need an extension from the uh, throttle wire here the receiver wire into your receiver uh, the receiver I have it setting underneath here on this little tray right here um, that's in the uh, cooling outlet and uh, that gets this little panel that goes over it already pre-done you don't have to do anything it's there so I uh, hope that helps you out uh, the next we're going to be covering a little bit of radio installation and some wiring on it and that's going to finish up our muscle bike and we're going to be ready to take that first flight with it looking forward to it thanks for buying an extreme flight product hope to see you at the field soon